hi this tutorial is about uh, for both free and pro version of easy upload files during checkout plugin so in case uh, you need uh, these upload upload files or upload file fields on different uh, places uh, on checkout or maybe on card but in inside a form or inside tabs uh, I mean you want to split them you you don't want to uh, have them in a sequence like one two three four five so how can you do that this tutorial is about uh, that complexity so in fact I have already uh, written a script which will help you to do this and I'm taking an example of a uh, player player uh, so I I in th in this case I'm having three player tabs player one two three I can have more and I will allow the same number of fields or maybe more I can uh, allow upload upload files like number of upload up uh, number of uh, files allowed to upload from backend from the settings page so at the moment I have just um, entered five in numbers so these are five three of these boxes are already included here with the jQuery CSS selector and remaining two are extra I will keep them hidden to show in this tutorial I just made it visible like this right it was hidden earlier so how can you do that uh, the trick is simply rename the file during checkout array with the proper index value I mean by default it is having nothing in it so when it is not having anything here whenever you will upload something it will go with the zero if th there are two files then zero and one three zero one and two right like you know array works JavaScript or PHP array by default it has the zero index for the first first element so instead of letting it be with 0 and 1 make your unique ID something unique ID and it will not break the functionality right so that's what I did for these three tabs right I show you browse button is having player 1 here player 2 is having the same browse button but with player 2 inside the square brackets so when um, when my uh, visitor my user for this page will upload something it will automatically go into the WordPress database uh, having meta value as player one or player two another thing in for the developers EUFTC dot OBJ is having a few parameters uh, which can help you like like uh, max upload file size in bytes dimensions and uploaded files right if you will upload one it will give you one if you upload two three four it will give you the exact number so you can check that the user has uploaded all the files required at least required three out of five or whatever you can create any logic any kind of logic you need and the PHP function is let me show you PHP 
PHP function is get EUFTC upload file. If you access this function inside your theme or any other plugin, it will give you the objects of uh, that attachment. And in addition, EUFTC index. In addition with EUFTC index, which is exactly the same index which we are modifying here. So if I'm sending some unique ID here, it will come up and return to this get EUFTC uploaded files function response. And once you will upload any file and as my plugin gives you the option to remove the uploaded file so you know uh, if I will upload something here it will immediately re refresh the page and that uploaded file will start displaying here because uh, the jQuery code I'm going to provide you in this tutorial will automatically sense that which index was uh, used for uploading and the same index should be should be tracked for the div and the exact element here uh, so we can have the file name and the delete option with it now I can explain this code uh, I'm iterating the players outer div this one this one tab outer div iterating this so it will give me three iteration I'm checking if that exists okay in next line I'm checking if inside those tabs do I have the exact CSS selector where I need to put this browse button and later that file name with the delete button or link so I'm checking this here health doc player health doc I can show you look health doc p2 health doc or p1 health doc so div a id p player is a counter here which is starting with 0 1 player 1 p1 health dog p2 health dog okay first of all I want you to see the else case else case is for the browse button I will always pick the first available element without the index thing so I can rename it to player to something so you can change this logic to your one your your desired logic in my case it is having player the sec the next line is just appending that element there uh, when I'm appending with like this without cloning it so it will simply move it not cloning simply moving that element here and removing it from here right okay once it's uploaded successfully you can check the if case if that element like my div this one this default div is having these allies it, it will always have ally for browse button as well and for uploaded items as well so if this ally is having EUFTC index as that same unique ID you sent it to the database if it is, it is having that thing here so we should take that HTML inner HTML part and append it to the tab section instead of the button right remaining uh, thing
things you can manage with the CSS but these two par parts were requiring some explanation so that's why I'm recording this tutorial for you and in the end you can simply hide my default div so this is how you can manage these browse buttons for different kind of requirements I mean it is you're not forced to uh, use it as it is like like someone will come up and he will be uploading documents randomly he will be uploading pictures documents and sound files all together uh, one by one and you need to uh, take this headache that which file was for what purpose right so you can make different tabs you can make different sections and these buttons can be used inside that I hope this uh, tutorial will surely help you and one more thing as I'm using the jQuery live or jQuery on uh, method so you can simply cut and paste this on this uh, element input file element anywhere on the page anywhere on the page uh, but it should be at least within the form so it can uh, have multi-part form and it can push all the meta with it to the server so but it will not break the code or if you will change this place it will still work I have checked it properly thank you so much for more help uh, you can if you need more help you can ping me on my blog or you can ping me even on YouTube or maybe the best way is to uh, create a new topic on WordPress plugin forum support forum thank you so much